Well, hello, boys and girls. Are you ready for today's math lesson? Okay, for today, remember to get out your yellow math workbook. Okay, class, I also want you to take out your uh, clocks, okay? So for today, um, we're going to be reviewing some times, okay? Then afterwards, that is going to uh, prepare you for um, our lesson for today, okay? So I got my whiteboard, I got my clock, okay? You don't need your whiteboards class. Um, I'm just using it so that I have, um, I'm able to write our times, okay? So go ahead and set up your clock as you see uh, my clock, okay? Then we're gonna move the time, okay? So I'm gonna move the time. I'm gonna move the minute hand first around the clock, okay? I'm gonna put the minute hand back on the 12, and I want the hour hand, which is the shorter hand. The hour hand is on the two. Can you please set your clock up? What time does the clock show? Remember to answer me in a complete sentence. The clock shows two o'clock. We would write a two, a colon, and two zeros to write it as a digital time. This is an analog clock. This is a digital clock, okay? This is the digital time. Or I can also show this time as two, and I could write words for o'clock. An o, an apostrophe, and the word clock. Okay? So two o'clock is this time. Now let's change the clock. If I were to move the minute hand, okay, Clockwise to the six, okay, half past. And we know that if the minute hand moves halfway around the clock, the hour hand is going to move at a slower rate, okay? But it is going to move, it'll be uh, moving from the two and it'll go towards the three, okay? But halfway around uh, the clock for the minute hand, then the hour hand is gonna be in the middle, halfway in between the two and three, okay? So uh, go ahead and set your clocks to show and match my clock. So class, what time does the clock show? The clock shows 2.30, okay? We could also write this in words. We could write the number two, okay, as a word. Two is spelled T-W-O for the number. Two, 30, T-H-I-R-T-Y. So we could say it's two, 30, and I put a dash in the middle, okay? Okay, class, let's go to our worksheet. Let's set that to the side. Let's go to our worksheet for today. I would like everyone to turn and open up their books to lesson 11 problem set. Let me try to, why is that blurry? Let me see class if I can switch cameras. Oh, that's clearer, isn't it class? Okay, that's better. Boy, I'm learning how, how to maneuver class. Okay, make sure you're on, oh, I'm sorry. For today, we need to be on lesson 13 problem set, okay? Lesson 11 and 12, we did on Monday and Tuesday. We need to be on lesson 13 problem set. Please start by writing your first and last name. your number symbol, and your number, okay? We will write the date when we are together, either in person or online, or all of us online, okay? Now, the directions say to circle the correct clock. Write the times for the other two clocks on the lines, okay? Let's go over this information so that you'll fully understand how to complete each uh, the problems, okay, when you have to do the ones on your own, okay? Okay, so number one says, 
circle the clock that shows half past one o'clock. Which clock shows half past one? Is it A, B, or C? Half past one. I know it's B, so we're going to circle B. Okay. I know that my minute hand is halfway around the clock, so it's half past. And my if it's half past one o'clock, then I know that the hour hand has to move past the one and move towards the two. So this shows half past one o'clock. Or 1.30 is another way of saying that class. Now, the directions above said to write the times for the other two clocks on the lines. So look at clock A. What time do you uh, see, uh, does clock A show? Clock A, the hour hand is pointing to the one, the minute hand is pointing to the 12, so it's on the hour. So this shows one o'clock. We would write one colon and two zeros, one o'clock. Okay, then look at C. What time does this show? This clock, the minute hand is halfway around, so half past, half past one, what hour though? Look at the hour hand. The hour hand is in the middle of the 12 and one. So it went, it was on the 12 at 12 o'clock, then the minute hand moved around and the hour hand moved a little. So it's half past 12 or 1230. Let's do number two together. Circle the clock that shows seven o'clock. Which clock shows seven o'clock class? Is it A, B, or C? I know it's A. The hour hand's on the seven, it's pointing to the seven, and the minute hand is right on the hour, okay, pointing up towards the 12. It's seven o'clock, it shows seven o'clock. What is, what is the, uh, the B showing? If this is seven o'clock and the hour hand's pointing to seven, then look at the hour hand here, it's pointing to the what? Eight, so I know it's eight o'clock. What is C showing? Clock C, the, the hour hand is shorter, so it's pointing at the six, to the six, and the minute hand's on the 12, so it is six o'clock. Okay, class, I want you to complete number three on your own. Go ahead and do that now. Okay, class, if you're not finished with three, I forgot to say to pause the video. Go ahead and pause the video, because I'm about to move on to number four. Class number four says, what time is it? Write the times on the lines, okay? Remember I shared with you last week that some clocks have the markings like we see here, okay? And some clocks may just have certain numbers, okay? And we have to know the one and the two where they are located on a clock, the three and four, I'm sorry, the four and five, the seven and eight, and then 10 and 11, right? And some clocks don't show the time at all. So we need to know where those, where those hands are, those, those times are on the clock, okay? Not the hands, but the times. So look at this first clock. What time is it showing? Well, we know that here invisible would be the number two, right? And this would be number one up here. So what time is it showing? It's showing two o'clock. There's the hour hand, it's shorter than the minute hand. So it's showing two o'clock. Okay, so I want you to complete B and C on your own. Remember class, we'd have a four and a five, a seven and eight, a 10 and 11, okay? To help you visualize. Go ahead and pause the video and complete B and C on your own, writing the times on the lines. Okay, class, moving on. Now that you've completed the front side, go to the back side. The back side says to draw the minute and hour hands on the clocks. Remember class, the minute hand is longer than the hour hand. 
okay? We always start with the hour though, okay? So what is this time? One o'clock. How do we show this on the clock? One o'clock, we start with the hour hand. The hour hand is shorter. So we point it towards the one, and where would the minute hand be? It'd be on the hour, on the 12 for one o'clock. Moving on, notice class, I did not write arrows. I did not include the arrows, please leave them off. Just draw the lines. B, what does B show? 1.30, so how would you show that on the clock? What's the hour? Well, 1.30, another way of saying that is half past one, right? So the, the hour hand would be pointing in between the one and two, right? Be half past. Okay, the one. And where would the minute hand be? 30 minutes around. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It would be on the six for 1.30. Next, what does this show? Two o'clock. Where would your hour hand be? Pointing to the two. Where would the minute hand be? It's on, on the hour, so it's on the 12 for two o'clock. Class, I want you to finish the rest of this page on your own. Remember to send me a picture of both pages. Clear pictures, make sure you include the lesson number and your entire answer. I need to be able to see your answers, okay? Please send it to me, both sides, um, photos through your Class Dojo account.